Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here. Today I would like to color this Chrysler from the 1950s, which is part of a private collection in Joshua Tree, California. Printed it at 16 by 12 inches on Breathing Colors uh, Vibrance Matte Paper, which you can print on with your uh, own inkjet printer. Then I uh, mounted it on this backboard just to give it some strength, sprayed it two times with a varnish, and then when that was dry, I painted on an acrylic medium, which is golden uh, glass glazing liquid. So now it's ready to be colored with oils. I'm going, going to dilute regular oil paints with liquid and pesto, which then, uh, it, it's a good alternative to Marshall photo oils. And you can see in the video here where I painted on the acrylic medium that I kind of followed the structure of the photo. It's hard to avoid brush strokes, so that kind of, the brush strokes become part of the image, uh, uh, so to say. So let's do this. Okay, so let's start with the sky. Let's take some liquid and pesto. We don't need very much for this. Some cerulean blue. Also a tiny bit amount. Take a little bit of paint and mix that into the impasto. It's a little bit of trial and error to see how translucent these paints are. Like martial photo oils already come diluted, thinned in a tube. And this you kind of have to figure out yourself. See, that's much too light. Let's take all of this. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that might work. Let's take a cotton round. Pick up some paint. and add that to the sky. Right now we're just con right now we're just concerned of adding the paint to the sky. It looks very messy still, but we'll fix that later. Probably could have made a little bit more of the mixture. Barely gonna make it. Okay. So now we take a clean cotton round and we're going to smooth out the, br the brush strokes. So we just dab it on. It's okay if you can see a little bit of the brush strokes, it gives that uh, a hand colored look. It looks like it was done by hand. Pr 
probably could have added a little bit more color, but that's, that's a personal choice. And I'm still pretty happy with, with the look of this blue now, the amount of transparency. That's pretty good. Actually, we could maybe add some color in the windshield here. Let's use this cotton swab that I used earlier. And then again, smooth it out a little bit. There you go. Now let's take some more impasto, some burnt sienna, this time actually I'll use a palette knife to mix it. We'll check on what it looks like and then we'll add that burnt sienna to the background. You can see I'm going over the line so to say. That's okay. We can remove that later because we have that acrylic coating now on. This wouldn't work with just putting this on the matte paper, the, 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 the paint would soak into the paper, but now it's lying on top of that acrylic layer. And we can remove it. So on the edges there, I probably want to do that with a cotton uh, swab. to put it a little thicker here. And then, see, you can easily remove it still. So also with a clean cotton swab, you can just wipe this off. And then let's add some to the close to the edge here with a cotton swab. Like the cotton round is a little too rough. And I would go into the sky. Okay, here we go. Remove a little bit here. And it's a little too thick here. So I'm wiping it a little bit off on this side. There we go. So now let's take some burnt umber. And I would like to add that to my burnt sienna mix that I already have.
making that burnt sian a little bit more brown. And then we'll add that as rust here. So now let's take a clean one, make that a little more subtle, there's a little too much here. Probably could use a little bit more of the burnt umber. Okay, and then I wipe it off in certain places. to make that a little bit more contrasty in the in the rust. Okay, and then I would like probably like a brownish red for the the car itself. So let's take some more liquid and pasto. You can reuse some of that. Also add in some cadmium red. That's a little too much, so I'm grabbing some more of that brown mix from earlier. Okay, let's see how that turns out. Let's take a cotton round. I think that looks good. Again, let's just go over the, the shiny parts and we'll remove that later. And then we'll take a Q-tip 
the edges again. See if I can do just the roof. mess up the sky a little bit. There we go. And then we'll also remove it here. And then, let's see, we can still reuse this one. Smooth it out a little bit here and there. And add some more color here. And then I think I still would like some blue in the headlights. So let's see if we... No, we need some more liquid here. And then let's see, stick some yellow ochre. Mix that into the impasto we have up here. And add that to the blinkers. And here we go, it's all finished. So you have a 1950s Chrysler black and white on 16 by 12 inch matte paper, pre-treated and then colored with diluted oils. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.